Hey, hey loves, and thank you for tuning in. So in this video, we are going to be swatching the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments, and I'm going to be doing them in three colors, and by far, let me tell you, these are the best liquid lipsticks in my collection, so let's get started. Is that working? I think it is. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I really, oh God, um, this is all I don't even know. I'm trying to figure out the situation and filming and <sighs> these are real techniques. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, RT, real technique, 203 brush. I just like a little quick, a little quick blend in there. But I really wanted you guys to see some of the hair, some of the makeup, my foundation. I am using Lancome right now, and I'm using a Lancome primer, which is bomb. My concealers are the same as normal. I'm using the uh, NARS matte concealers and Amanda and Caramel, I believe. I use the Sasha Buttercup, which was something I've had in my collection for years, and I never really fucked around with it. Oh, my bad. Brady G. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I never really messed around with it. So that was actually kind of interesting, but let's do a quick look. You guys can see some of his hair. This up. Uh... Eyeshadow is eyeshadow. I'm not really putting on eyeshadow. The eyelashes are. Ardell, Ardell Wispies, by far my favorite lashes. They're like four dollars too. Somebody talk to me about price. Four dollars. Right. All right, we going to work with makeup. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I really wanted you guys just to get a, to see a little bit more about me as I'm doing some of the swatches, but let's get down to business. Right now, I'm actually grabbing the shade called London Calling. It's this lilac pink, which to me, it kind of turns into like this dusty purple with these beautiful gray undertones. Again, this applicator is one of the best applicators that I've used on the market and the comfort level of the pigments are just stunning i only needed to do one coat of this color to actually get full pigmentation that i wanted on my lips so here you guys go take a look Anyway, I feel like we were sleeping on these. Like, oh, 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 my bad. Like, let me, let me zoom y'all out. Let me, let me come back. Come back. Come back. Like, just, just, a, just a little. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. One, I hope you get a good idea. Like I said, still, I'm still trying to figure out this. Uh, God, I have such big hair filming situation and just FYI you guys I'm playing around with my hair because in the middle of filming this video I'm also shooting a video on Shea Moisture's new line the Manuka honey and yogurt hair collection so that's why I'm fussing with my curls but now back to the swatches we're actually going to jump right into the next color here but not but not look at the highlight though the highlight is colored rains bourgeois flossing babe So I like to get back to work. The next color that I'm going to be swatching is under my thumb, which is this beautiful burgundy berry color. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that some of my favorite colors are these burgundies, purples, and reds. They just look beautiful on brown skin. It's a look, you guys. Anyway, so I wore this color for about 15 hours. I wore it throughout the entire day. I'm actually going to stick the check-in that I did at the end of the day right here in between wild nights so you can really get a full view of how everything looks. 
all right lovely so it is oh what time is it 10 10. i was supposed to come and do this check-in when i got home at seven but unfortunately family issues and i found out my mom was in the hospital so i had to run over there but everything's okay now she is just being at finished for some tests everything's cool but the good side that i can come and talk to you guys about was this makeup so the true thing was really the um the color it is under my thumb i've had this one since i left the house this morning at when did i leave eight o'clock yeah i left at eight o'clock to catch the train and i have not had to touch this once i have not touched this up it hasn't worn off this isn't smudge proof so it does kind of wear off a little bit like when you do a kiss test or when you're eating or drinking through a straw but what's amazing is that i left this home and i have not done one touch up so let me bring you guys in and this is a little bit over 12 hours it's running on almost 15 hours now of me wearing this so you can kind of see where it started to wear off really in the middle but i think this is amazing i'm going to wipe this off now so that i can swatch wild night for you guys but so far nars they really did this when they came up with this collection and this line I'm actually going to show you guys what these look like. Make sure you have the swatches of, well these are hand swatches of the three that I'm actually working with. The one on the right here, this is London Calling. The one in the middle is Under My Thumb and then this one that is on the far, well my far left, this one here. <laughs> ah, that is called Wild Night. So let's get to the swatches of Wild Night, shall we? NARS describes this as a deep lilac. I really call it like this deep, darkened plum. That's what it shows up at on me as. Now I'm going to tell you this is a beautiful color. I do explain it again at the end. This is the only one that I really had to put on two coats for to really get the true color to show up. And that's typical when it comes to really dark pigments. They can sometimes come off as streaky or apply unevenly if you do one coat so make sure that you do do two coats of this one and again it still felt very comfortable very lightweight on my lips And here is a quick look of a full face wearing Wild Night. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed these swatches. Let me know if you like this style of video. Of course, it's not always going to be this choppy and messy. But I wanted you guys to really get a better sense of me and what I do when I do do these swatches. Plus, as I move over to YouTube, I want you to see more of a full face of me. So now it's time for a giveaway i'm going to be choosing three people who leave comments on this video um, as long as you made it through leave a comment thumbs up and you are subscribed let me know what you think of these colors and the nars pigments and i'm going to choose three of you each of you will win your own nars power matte pigments and i'm going to ship it directly to you you can pick the color and that's it so make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave a comment at the bottom and thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you guys soon